Hey, what's up everyone? As of filming this, it is Tuesday, May 12th. Yesterday on Monday, May 11th, Hypixel released a new script for Watchdog which banned 4,000 players. Many of those players were Skyblock players. Before we go any further, I want to clarify one thing. I'm going to try to be as unopinionated as possible in this video and only give you valid facts. If I am opinionated, it's going to be towards the staff. I have a huge amount of respect for them. Even though I wish they would update Skyblock more often, I'm very impressed that they can sustain such a fragile economy. Anyways, more about the bandwave. First, we need to understand how Watchdog works. Watchdog is an artificial intelligence used for moderation by the Hypixel network made by Hypixel network developers. Watchdog watches players constantly to determine who is hacking and who is not. One for sure way to get banned is to randomly shake your head like this and then build up in a straight line. This obviously isn't anything that a normal player would do in any given game. However, it's how a lot of hack clients work. You know when you see those admins flying around you in a circle hitting you? That's Watchdog. The developers specifically designed that event to randomly occur to random players. If someone is using Kill Aura, their client will be tracking the admin and hitting them constantly. It's a very, very simple way to ban hackers. This is the part where the knowledge starts to get a little bit iffy. Watchdog was designed so that moderators didn't constantly have to be monitoring every player to determine who was hacking. It's an automated software that looks for patterns, by machine learning. That's only a guess though. Basically how it would work if it was using machine learning is that first it would choose a bunch of random people and then the admins would determine who was hacking of those people and tell Watchdog. It would then look for similarities between the cases and determine who was hacking using those similarities. It runs this a few times and after it has a very successful rate of catching the hackers, it'll be implemented into the server. The reason so many players were banned was because they had never put any enforcement on the profile boosting rule. Right now there's a lot of people going on the forums and claiming that they were false banned. Most of them were not. In fact, the admins have stated that they have only received 20 to 30 false bans out of the 4,000. On the Hypixel network, if you click on the rules tab, in the extra rules and click on skyblock rules it clearly states in section 2 that profile boosting is not allowed we are not allowing profile boosting this means that you cannot set up an island of certain material types and continuously transfer it across to another profile boosting that material for your collections and recipe creations we have ways of monitoring if this is occurring with each profile this flags players and the alt accounts that are associated with abusing this until yesterday they were not enforcing the second part it's quite possible that some players were uneducated about the rule in my personal opinion you should always read the rules before you begin to play a game and because i've read the rules i've never been banned from the hypixel network or any server that i can remember what i'm about to say is not a fact because this is only the first wave of watchdog bans, I don't think Hypixel would actually wipe the stats of everyone involved. If they have, it's going to be for a very specific reason, such as they've been abusing this for months. Okay, that opinion was over. Simon, who is the CEO of Hypixel Incorporated, which is the company that runs the Hypixel network, stated that they have reviewed every case for this ban. They just want to make sure that no one is going to get false banned or false stat wipe. After this ban wave, they're revising the system and they're going to implement it again in a couple of days. Right now, they're collecting data and watching over everyone to make sure no one profile boosts. I don't think you should be scared. If you're playing the game normally and you're actually grinding for materials, there's no reason to be scared. If you've engaged in a trade where you give the player a large sum of items or coins and haven't received anything in return because you'll receive it at a later date, I strongly recommend recording that trade. I'm not sure if Watchdog would pick up on it or not. If you are playing on multiple profiles, don't be afraid to give your profiles small items. They are allowing you to give items that may be needed to effectively start a new profile. If you need to transfer over Ender Armor, you should be okay. If you want to transfer over a tier one minion of some sort, that should be fine. The only thing that's not okay is if you have 20 minion slots on a single profile and then you produce a bunch of materials with that and trade it over to your main profile. That would be considered profile boosting. I really hope this video helped clear some things up. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If it didn't, comment and let me know what I could have done better. Thanks for watching. Bye.